is at the podium. Jason, what was uh, just your viewpoint on that final play and the, uh, the swing of emotions you guys had in that you know, final three seconds there? Ooh-wee. <laughs> oh, my God. That was incredible. Um, man, uh, we drew up a play. Uh, they kind of took the way that, you know, uh, you know, I was trying to get the ball. Jimmy and Shrews jumped out to me, smart, came in and shot it, and we just crashed the glass. Uh, and everything was like a blur after that. Uh, you know, D. White tipped it in, but, you know, that felt like the longest 10 seconds ever waiting for confirmation if he made it or not. Uh, I'm still, like, in disbelief. That shit was crazy. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad we got another chance, another opportunity. You know, it's far from over. It's still an uphill battle, but I feel good to give yourself another chance, another opportunity. Jason, you, you've been on the wrong side of uh, go-ahead shots, but what is that like when it's three free throws? You can't contest, you, you can't board, you, you can't deny. I mean, what, you have to stand there and watch the, the score flip. How, how tough is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is tough. Uh, you know, we didn't, we missed some shots, we missed some free throws. May have had a turnover. You know, it just seemed like everything that could go wrong was going wrong that last two and a half, three minutes or whatever. You know, we, you know, we foul, three-point shot. Uh, but, I, you know, there's still three seconds left. You don't have time to think about you just in the moment, next play. Uh, <laughs> it worked out. Jason, um, the game five in Boston was awesome from all the scenarios. Uh, what do you expect from the Garden on Monday? And now, yes, seven game, are you ready to make history? There is always a first time. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm just excited that we just gave ourselves another chance, right? You know, um, you know we, we, we didn't play well in the first three games. We didn't deserve to win whatever you want to say. Um, and we just, we really took it one game at a time. And, you know, series is not over, right? We still got a big game Monday, but uh, just the uh, the grit that we showed to, to get to this moment. Uh, I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be on this team. And uh, I've never, I've never been so excited to go back to Boston in my life. Uh, and I cannot wait to see all the fans on Monday because uh, it's going to be fun. I kind of hate following up a quote like that with this, but you guys struggled from three. Uh, only Derek and Marcus were able to hit threes in this game. How do you guys, it's usually a formula for losing. <laughs> How do you guys pull out this game not hitting these shots? Uh, defense. Um, <clears throat> I think. Uh, damn, I, we only made seven threes. Yeah, it was it was defense that kept us in the game, that uh, allowed us to stay in the game, um, and you know we've kind of changed that around um, to win these last three games. And like, our defensive identity has uh, has been the reason why, uh, and it's a hell of a win. You know, forty four percent from the field, twenty percent from the three and still find a way to win, take it every day of the week. Just this feels like, you know, like a celebration like this, relief like this, like it feels like you guys won something, like the series almost. How do you, in such a short time, recenter and, you know, take a realization that there's still one left? Oh, no, no, it's not. We, we all talked about it. We all, we're all aware. It's not time to celebrate, right? We didn't accomplish anything. We won a game, a big game that we had to win. Um, in an incredible fashion, you know, be proud of the way we played, proud of the way we figured it out. Um, but, you know, the job is far from finished. This is a great team, really well coached team, and we got to be ready on Monday. It, 
it's not it's not over, right? You know, both teams want this extremely, like to the highest degree. Uh, they want it, we want it. The guys are competing on both ends, uh, giving everything they have. So, um, and you like being a part of series and games like that. Um, it brings the best out of you. So, uh, you know, it's going to be tough on Monday for sure. And just, just lastly, that last time out, obviously the focus was on trying to get you the ball. What, what, what do you remember about the discussions in the huddle and kind of the, the mood after such a you know, deflating moment that preceded it? Uh, I mean, we just we dribble play, and you know, I was one option. You know, JB was an option, uh, uh, but you know, the guy that was on the ball kind of went with me. You know, D White passes smart. He, uh, I thought that shot was good. He kind of went in and out. Uh, and shit, I mean, y'all saw the rest. D. D White made a hell of a play. Jason, how did you during that timeout not get discouraged? I mean, you had given up the lead. What's going through your head in terms of like trying to save the game and not thinking the game was over? Like, and, and then the elation from what Derek did. Like, what's how do you capsulize those like those two minutes? Uh. It's crazy. Somebody asked, one of the ball boys asked me that after the game. He was like, what does it feel like being out there? Uh, and I told him, you're aware of the score. You're aware of what's happening. But also, you don't understand like the magnitude. You just stand in the moment, right? So I didn't have time to think, like, oh, shit, the season might be over. It's just like, no, we got three seconds left. We try to make a play. Uh, whatever happened just happened. Um, so nobody was sitting there with pouting their, like, Ah, uh, we blew it. It's like, no, uh, we got three seconds left. Um, you know, J Joe drop a play. We try to execute it to the best of our ability um, and make something happen. So that never like crossed my mind while I was sitting there. You know, I was just trying to see what we were running. <laughs> I just cameras saw you talking to Derek. Had a moment on the floor, and then later in the locker room, just kind of talking to JB. What were you guys saying? What were the conversations like? Uh, well, I, I kind of like, I don't even remember what I said on the court. I was in shock, but, um, you know, when I got back to the locker room, everybody was excited. Um, and it was just like a sigh of relief. Like, we didn't play well on offense. We didn't shoot the ball well. We missed some free throws late that guys probably wish they could have back. Uh, and it was just like, whew, we have another chance. We, like... And you don't always get, you know, second chances in life and things like that. Um, so everybody, it was just like, just take a deep breath, right? We, we won a big game, and uh, we have a special opportunity to play better on, on Monday um, back home.